Uh, my name is Sergei Smakovays, uh, and I'm a senior commercial technology associate at Corning. Corning and UCL's Optical Network Group um, has a very you know, long history of uh, collaboration. When it comes to our um, um, collaboration with UCL, you know, they have a solid understanding of optical physics, communication theory, transmission modeling. That gives us a reassurance uh, that the work that UCL's Optical Network Group are doing uh, will be carried out to an exceptional standard. Um, I came from UCL myself. Um, I'm a natural person to kind of continue this legacy of collaboration between UCL uh, and Corning. I'm Polina Babel. I'm Professor of Optical Communications and Networks and I head the Optical Networks Group at the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at UCL. The Optical Networks Group is a world-leading research group developing next-generation optical communication systems and networks. We're looking at techniques of how to um, transmit as much information as possible, as fast as possible, over a range of distances. The relationship with Corning started from the very first days of the group. As a young graduate, I had consulted um, for Corning and um, made contact with a very charismatic and um, um, open-minded international business development director, John Edwards. He introduced me to the research and development team in Corning and they were interested um, in our work. I'm essentially a subject matter expert uh, when it comes to long-haul uh, and submarine uh, optical fiber technology. Corning is the world's leading innovator in material science. For over 165 years, Corning uh, has applied uh, its expertise in things like optical physics, uh, glass science, material science, uh, to come up with the products and solutions that transform industries, uh, but also significantly enhance uh, people's lives. Over 95% of all digital data is transmitted over optical fibers. So the ability to develop technology that evolved, that is able to lead in the evolution of that infrastructure has an enormous impact on all of us. We don't see any evidence uh, that the need for more bandwidth is going to stop. If anything, it's going to continue to grow uh, at least at the same pace, to continue to offer more bandwidth at a low cost preferably. So that's probably the single big, big, biggest challenge that the entire uh, industry is facing today. In an academic environment, uh, they try to look ahead, right? Many, many years ahead. Knowing how the future could look like uh, could potentially give us an early start uh, and trying to prepare uh, and position our products for this next generation uh, networks. For me personally, the work we did in 2015, 2016 on achieving long distance transmission in the challenging terrains like in deserts, like in forests. UCL uh, applied their knowledge in optical physics uh, and you know, were able to put their knowledge uh, in, in the transmission test bed. And I was very pleased with the quality of the work, right? Uh, that came out of it. You know, for me personally, uh, it's also the, you know, the creation of mutual trust and mutual respect, right? You know, we're all professionals. We've all known each other for many, many years. Uh, and if you have this very positive history, right? It makes so much easier to collaborate on, uh, you know, on, on the areas where you have mutual overlap. Having a collaborator that is providing us with really world-leading optical fibers is a very um, important part uh, of the success story of our group. We learn from each other. It's really a two-way information exchange and that's what makes it very valuable. You're working with colleagues um, who are real experts and that makes for a much more um, fruitful relationship and much more pleasant, much more pleasurable one. And that's what I love about my job, right? Is that I, I do tend to uh, work a lot uh, within the industry uh, on a very, uh, you know, very like, call it like practical solutions, right? But I also work like to collaborate uh, with our academic partners like UCL uh, to work on, a, to look uh, on the more forward-looking technologies, right? So it's wonderful, it's fascinating.